one of my amazing clients named Julie uh, to talk with us about her experience in um, my Lose 10 Pounds. And Julie, do you want to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Julie. Uh, I'm a mother of two. I have a uh, eight-year-old and a four-year-old. Um, and I've lost 19 pounds to date on, uh, on the program with me now. That is amazing, Julie. I am just, oh my gosh, I am so, so thrilled and so happy. Losing 19 pounds in 10 weeks is amazing. I mean, just to, just to be able to start moving forward, losing that weight, knowing that things work, it's just it's kind of life changing. At least it was for me when it happened with me. I didn't even, you know, you did 19, 19 pounds in 10 weeks. That's just amazing. Um, so I wanted just to start off by asking you, um, what was the specific reason that you weren't losing weight before you joined lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks? I think the main reason was primarily, uh, diet. I, I believe, I mean, I'm quite active. I, I, I do, um, I run and um, I go to the gym. And um, on average, I was working out anywhere from five to six days a week. And either I would, I would lose like a decent amount of weight, like five pounds or something, and then it would stagnate and I wouldn't see any further weight loss. And I think I was in denial about the fact that if I really, really wanted to lose weight, I would have to deal with what I was eating. Um, and so I think that was the, the big, um, the main reason why I wasn't really losing weight before. Yeah. And, and what I remember when we were first, um, starting the program, you told me a little bit about, you know, why you would, why you were scared of dealing with your eating. Like what were some of those things that you were, that you were scared of around having to look at your eating? I always figured that when people said, well, you have to watch what you eat. What they really meant was that you had to live on celery sticks and salad and, you know, just really, really, basically I thought you would have to be deprived. You wouldn't have to taste any good food anymore. You would just have to just eat salad every day, you know? So um, that I think was my, the main hurdle that I had to overcome, which was I had to realize that they are different ways to eat that are healthy and good for you and would still help you lose weight. Yes, yes, definitely. I remember that you had told me, you know, those things and that you were, you just didn't want to feel, you felt like if you'd, if you change your eating, you'd feel deprived, you'd feel hungry and you wouldn't like what you're eating. And that exactly. was like, seems like so much work to have to lose weight when you, you know, if you have to go through that. So yeah. um, we're going to, yep. Yep. And so we're going to talk a little bit more about how that wasn't the case in lose 10 pounds, 10 weeks, which I'm so happy about. I, I don't agree with, you know, I totally support loving what you eat and feeling full all the time. So we're going to talk a little bit about how you felt, but, um, but first tell me when you wanted to lose weight, like before you started losing weight, were there things that you felt like you were held back from in your life? Were there some things you weren't doing before as much of? Um, I, you know, it's one of those, it's one of those things that you may not, it's, it's like a blind spot, you know, maybe there is something that I was not doing or that I was holding myself back from doing because of my weight that I won't really realize until losing weight until now I've lost weight. But, um, I know one of the things I would do is that I wouldn't want to be in any pictures like my 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 husband is an avid photographer and he always wants to take pictures you know family functions and so on and I think I was kind of feeling like I don't want to be in any pictures because I don't want to look at the pictures and see myself as you know in 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 a shape that I don't really like on me and you know when you have kids and you look back on you know their days and you realize, wait, I'm missing from half the pictures, that kind of gives you a little bit of a wake up call, like you've missed out on so much fun and so much joy. So um, I think that's where it really comes to mind at the moment. But um, ask me in a few months, maybe I'll come up with more. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that is so 
Um, that is just so important to, to be in those photos with your kids and with your family, because it's true. It's like you're capturing memories. Your kids are growing so quickly and you're going to look back in a few years. They've already grown so much in a few years. And you just kind of want to mm -hmm. see you being in the experience with your kids too. Yeah. Right. Totally. Totally. Yeah. That means so much. Um, and does, has that changed for you? Do you feel more comfortable now when your husband wants to click a picture to get into the picture? Are you feeling comfortable yet? I'm feeling comfortable. I, I, I do feel comfortable. And, and yeah, I'm happy with, with what I look like right now, even though I, you know, I'm not at my end goal yet. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. You're so funny. You've done such an awesome job, though. I know it's like you're all we always think about what where else we want to get, you know, and mm -hmm. sometimes it's hard to get used to our, our weight loss right away because it's like, wow, I, I can't even is it really true? You know, so yeah. yeah. Um, so what was happening at the time that you um, found out about lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks that made you want to join? Like, what was the reason that, that you decided to take the step towards weight loss at the moment you, you did? Um, I think, I don't know, kind of at the beginning of the year, everybody has, you know, um, the New Year's resolutions and so forth. And right about the beginning of the year, um, I noticed I was starting to get like aches and pains in my joints, especially in my ankles. And I just so happened to go in for a physical. Um, and they put me on a scale, which I hadn't been on in a while. And the number was uh, an eye opener for me. And I sat down with my doctor and um, I hadn't had a physical for a while. So she kind of did a before and after, but in reverse where I was lighter before and now I'm heavier. And, you know, I walked out of that office that day and I just was like what's going on and then um, 10 pounds in 10 weeks came up and I said you know I gotta do it I gotta do it I can't wait anymore and now is a good time as ever I can't claim it's pregnancy weight my youngest is four years old so mm -hmm. you know let's do this <laughs> I know it's funny how fast that time passes after having a baby yes yes <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it was that moment. It was the moment that really gave you that wake up call where you said, I need to do something about this. Like it was just, it had been creeping up and up and up. And then it just, you just saw it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah. The numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie. Yeah. 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 So tell me what are a, a couple, two or three things from lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks that you, that, that helped you? What are some things that, you know, you think really, like you've really changed and you think ha have helped you? Um, one is the realization that um, I can eat well and feel full and uh, feel nourished and actually enjoy what I'm eating. That was huge for me. Um, I think just learning the fact that, okay, there, there, there are different sets of carbs. We need carbs, but um, there's a set of carbs that will help you feel fuller longer and you won't have to uh, resort to snacking in like an hour or two. Um, that, was, that was really, really helpful. Also, the fact that um, I had someone who could answer my questions. I could say, oh my gosh, you know, I'm wondering about this. I'm wondering about I see a lot of people saying, well, sweet potatoes are good for you. And I think I asked you that and said, well, they're kind of full of sugar. So I said, oh, okay. So I can't have sweet potato fries, you know, that type of thing. It was, <laughs> it, it's good to have, you know, the person who, uh, who has kind of, uh, you know, done the research and, and, and pointed out, okay, this is, this is one way you can do it. And I, and I, I can vouch that it, it, it works. Um, yeah. And being accountable, you know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and being yeah. accountable to someone that really helped me a lot. Yeah, that is so great. So it's like you actually learned nutritional changes. And you know, you continuously impressed me in part of the, pro I mean, throughout the program, because you would get my recipes and um, you would make them, but then you also start creating so many of your own recipes. And, um, and it just became like, I would ask you what you'd eat and you were eating, you know, foods that were obviously going to help you lose weight. And you just kind of made that transition, it seemed like. 
pretty easily. Um, I think you just kind of took it on and decided I want to do this, but you started changing, you know, I think you enjoyed what you were eating. Is that like, like that's, how were you able to make that change to your eating so quick, like so easily to, to eating, th eating foods that were helping you lose fat so quickly? Um, I think it was, um, partly what you said, it was kind of like, okay, um, this is a set of foods that I can eat. What can I do to them? Or what can I do that would still make them healthy? And, you know, I would still enjoy it. So I know for, for instance, um, what was it? Black beans. I, I, I like black beans and, um, I was used, I used to buy them tinned. And then I started, you know, on your advice, I said, you know, you said that's kind of full of sodium. So I said, all right, I'll buy them in bulk, soak them, put them in a crock pot, for instance, and, and season them and, and still enjoy, you know, and still enjoy my meal and still enjoy what I'm eating. So I think the transition for me was, okay, this is a food I can eat. How can I sort of adjust it to the way I already cook? So it's not too big of an upheaval for me to suddenly change the way I approach food and how I cook. And, um, that way was uh, the transition was a little more smoother for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I loved when I heard about you making crock pot recipes and, um, you know, seasoning them. And then I think that's also um, easier, you know, using a crock pot and using things that just makes it so easy. You can cook it in bulk. You have food available when you need it. So you started taking those cut principles on. Yes. And I'm glad you mentioned that because I think, uh, I wasn't used to really planning ahead of my meals. And now that I have, you know, food in the fridge that I can reach and, you know, cook within, you know, 20 minutes or so has been really helpful. So then that way I don't have to snack as much. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's all about creating that system and that plan. And part of it is just doing things that you're doing anyway, and just doing a little bit extra, you know, how making a little bit extra food. And so that it's easy for you to have, you know, have things that you can grab versus yeah. thinking, what am I going to cook tonight? You know, all, all the time. Exactly. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, um, okay. That's, that's so, um, I'm just like, constantly impressed by, you know, how you did that and how you're still doing it. Um, so tell me a little bit about your accomplishments from the program. You know, we talked about how you lost 19 pounds. What are some of the, the things that, that you think are different in terms of, do you, how do you feel different? Like, do you feel lighter, happier, you know, how are some of the feelings or what are some of the things that are starting to shift in your life? Um, yeah, you definitely feel lighter. Um, definitely like, um, you try on clothes that you, you know, you automatically reach for and you realize, well, this, this fits a little looser than before. Um, I would say, um, as far as, you know, just on a more deeper level, um, you start wondering what else can I do? I mean, it's not only, not only in terms of your weight loss, but in terms of your other personal goals, um, you start thinking about, well, maybe I have blind spots there too. Maybe I need to reevaluate how I deal with, you know, my personal relationships or my professional relationships and so on. So um, I think that has been, and it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing um, conversation that I have with myself. Um, and I think sometimes I'm also, um, I used to beat down on myself a lot before about my weight. And after this, I realized that um, that wasn't really the most productive way to approach it. Um, sometimes we need to be a little um, more kinder to ourselves and give ourselves a little more um, leeway and be a little, yeah, just a little more, um, yeah, kinder and not to always be so hard on ourselves. Um, I think when you do that, it kind of, um, it lets the negative in, instead of um, making you realize how, um, how good things can be if you just give yourself permission. Give, mm -hmm. give yourself a little slack, cut yourself some slack. Yes, that is so true. Like, we have to give ourselves compassion for, for how we're doing, for what we're trying to do, instead of just 
criticizing ourselves. And, you know, I know, you know, as women, we do that so much. We just think, what else can we do? Why, why isn't this happening? But sometimes you have to give yourself that space. And do you feel like you, you were able to do that over the last 10 weeks? Like give yourself that compassion and understanding so that you could just more easily and nicely lose weight? Yes, because I mean, one, one, one part of the program is self-care, you know, is to, um, to kind of take some time to do things that are good for you when instead of reaching for, you know, for a chocolate bar or a bag of chips, you know, you maybe take a nice soothing bath or, and I know with two kids in the house, like that's almost impossible, right? But, um, or you go for a walk or you do just something where you take care of yourself. And I think once you're in that space, you can kind of, your, your head, your head space just changes and it shifts. And I think that was a huge part of it as well. Oh, that's so good to hear. I know a lot of times we, we also turn to food to take care of ourselves just naturally because it's right there. It's easy. We feel a nice rush. But when, when you kind of are aware of the reasons that we're, we turn to food, it makes it so much easier to take care of yourself in a healthier way, like taking a walk or, you know, being with your loved ones even. Um, mm -hmm. So that, that's so great to hear. And so that makes me feel so, you know, happy because really taking care of ourselves is so key. It's not, it's physical is part of it, but it me, it goes so much deeper than that. So, mm -hmm. um, so now um, has anyone noticed your weight loss? Has anyone said anything to you about how you've changed has, um, you know, what, what are some things that you, that you've been hearing? Um, yeah, a, a lot of my friends will say, wow, you look great. Um, no one has really said, wow, you've lost weight because <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes people say you should not say that, you know, like, <laughs> oh, was I really that heavy before? But, um, I think for me was, uh, remember I, I pointed out that, um, uh, the big, um, eye opener for me was going to my doctor's, um, at the beginning of the year. Well, I went out for a follow-up visit and I sat down with her and she looked at the numbers and she thought it was a typo. And I said, no, no, I've actually lost 19 pounds since she saw me last and she couldn't believe it. And, um, what have you been doing? I said, well, I've been watching what I was eating and she said, keep it up. So, I think that for me was like, you know, pat on the shoulder a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, that must have felt yeah. so satisfying to hear that. It it was it was really satisfying. And I could but totally it's, it's, imagine yeah. your, your doctor looking twice and just being thinking, oh my god, you actually took action, like you did something about the fact that you weren't happy with where your weight was in our talk. You know, you did something about it, and now look at where you are today, just several weeks later. Yes. Yeah, that was, that was very satisfying. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Um, so finally, I just have one more question. Um, tell me, was it, do you think it was a good decision to join, um, lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks? And, you know, where do you think you would have been if you, if you didn't join? Um, yes, I'm really glad. Um, I, uh, I went ahead and started the program. If I hadn't joined, I may have lost weight. I may have decided um, to put in a, more, a few more hours at the gym, um, maybe run a few extra miles a week or something like that, and I would, I would have lost some weight. But I don't know how sustainable that would have been because um, the way I look at it is you have to change the way you eat. Um, eating is one of the most constant things we do, we do in our lives. We do it, you know, anywhere from three to six times a day. Whereas working out is one of those things that, well, if you get injured, there goes, you know, three or four days or maybe two months worth of, you know, workouts. And then you gain all those pounds back. You have to address what you're eating. And um, yeah, so if I hadn't jumped onto the program, I don't, I may have lost some weight, but I don't know how, you know, how sustainable it would have been in the long term. So um, I think this, yeah, it's one of those things where people say it's a lifestyle shift and um, I have to look at food. My approach is, is different now. And even now after completing the program, do you feel like what you've learned, you're, you're continuing to apply it even today? Oh yes, oh yes, um, definitely. Definitely. Like I said, it's one of those things that's not, I don't want to, uh, 
to have that mindset that, you know, okay, I'm only on this program for a set amount of time, and then I'll just reverse back to what I was doing before, because that's just a guarantee for me to gain the weight back. So um, this is this is a lifestyle change for me, definitely. <sighs> That is so great. Oh my gosh. Well, Julie, you look amazing. You look fabulous. You sound Thank amazing. You. And it's just been such a pleasure to work with you. And, um, you know, as a mom of two as well, I know, you know, it's a lot of, um, it seems like it could be a lot of effort to lose weight, but when you, you know, it's possible, it's absolutely possible to lose weight and not feel deprived um, and, and see amazing results. I mean, just the fact that your doctor told, is happy with you, that's just a, like a dream for your doctor to be happy. So mm -hmm. I'm so, so, so thrilled for, for what you've achieved. And I know you're going to continue um, just because you've set the system up. And I'm so excited to keep in touch and to, to keep, you know, hearing more about your progress. Oh, yeah, definitely. And thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's a lifestyle change. And it was take someone to say, hey, how about you look this direction and kind of approach it that way. So thank you. Oh, thanks so much. Okay, well, um, so thanks again for being here and, um, and, and we'll talk soon. Thanks, Nagina. Bye.